Anime Expo 2022 was a ton of fun. When I mean a ton, I mean a ton of fun. It was it was just one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. With the exhibit hall, the entertainment hall, the artist alley, and the different panels they had to offer. There's just so many things to do and so many things to see. And it was just incredible, incredible experience. This isn't my first convention, but this is my first time attending Anime Expo. Uh, but in this video, I will just be showing you guys my haul from the convention. First item we have is this tote bag we got from day one. On one side we have Remember Tempest from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And on the other we have the quintuplets from the quintessential quintuplets. Um, there's nothing much about this bag. The colors are fairly the same. On the sides is not really much. It's just their logo with the words Los Angeles Convention Center. On the bottom is just their website. There's also another variant of this bag. Unfortunately I don't have it but I remember it featured Eden Zero and Attack on Titan. I will show you guys a picture of the bag just so you can see how it looked. Personally I wasn't really a fan of the colors although the bag I have is just pretty much one color. It's nice and simple and it's just clean. The second item we have here is this lanyard that was inside the tote bag. This this is fake grand order themed with saber and mash. There were different types of lanyards but I don't have them on me and I don't know what they were. I just remember seeing a simple themed one it was just white with like an OC I assume. I don't know if it was anyone specific from an anime but I'm pretty sure it was an OC. Next we have is this magazine. It has basically everything you need to know about Anime Expo including the map, the exhibitor list, the different guests etc. There's nothing really special about this. There is a page where you can see the different magazine covers from the previous anime expos but uh yeah that's basically it the next few items are from the anime expo merch booth the first item we have is the sticker and it's quite large i wasn't expecting it to be the size of my hand but it features a really cute girl and the words anime expo there really isn't much about this sticker other than the fact that the girl is pretty cute the second item is a pin specifically 30th anniversary pin it features the same girl and has the 30th anniversary anniversary on the pen so that's pretty cool to have the next few items are lifesavers i definitely needed these the first one is a popsicle from six on clothing it's a nice cute little fan it got the job done when i first got it it was actually the first fan i got so yeah thank you six on clothing for giving those out the next one is from xp pen it's another fan but i didn't really use as much i had a better one at a time and that leads us to the last one which is the mask from studio ghibli i have no idea where it came from but i know one thing's for sure is that i use this quite a bit if you look closely at this hole there's a bit of wear and tear on there i've used this a lot fun fact this isn't the first one i've used this is the second one <laughs> my friend let me use his so this is the second one the first one was a lot worse looking than this here are a couple of freebies i got from the convention here are some stickers from kokari sweat pretty nice looks like hatsune miku so i really like them next are this one sticker from i believe the 18 plus area i don't remember what it was exactly but it is a pretty nice looking sticker the next one is a bleach pin um my friend gave me this from his mystery box i haven't seen the series bleach yet uh, i'll still keep it i'll probably watch it eventually it's a nice looking pin anyways the next few items are masks and on them are different types of mouth yeah the next one is a postcard and a pen from the fighting game Phantom Breaker Omnia. It's a pretty cool game. I played it once. The next item is a guidebook for Fate Grand Order. If someone wants to play that game, I could just give them the guidebook or something. Maybe that'll help them a bit. The last item for this segment is Pokemon Journeys book. It's just a short comic. I haven't read it yet, but I probably will soon. The next item we have here is this couple of Cuckoo's pin. And this is actually one of my favorite animes airing this season. I'm so glad it's having a second core for the summer season. Uh, Erica's literally my favorite character, so I'm really glad I have this pin. The next few items are from the Bushiro booth. We'll start off with the freebies. The first one is this Michelle headband. It's pretty obnoxious. I've seen a couple people wear these. It was pretty funny to see. I personally didn't wear this. It's a pretty funny headband. The next couple of freebies are these stickers from D4DJ. I'm not really into D4DJ as much, but I have played the game and I have seen the anime. So it's pretty cool to have. The next are pins from the Pain Dream series. This one features Chisato, 
The other one features Eve, and the third one features Karu. Unfortunately, none of these are my favorite character from the franchise, but two of them are from my favorite band. The next few items are acrylic stands. To get these, you have to pull four stars from the gacha. So they had a display there where you could play the game, and in the game there's a gacha, and there's a chance you could get a 4 star. And if you did get a 4 star, you got to choose one of the acrylic stands at random. This one is an acrylic stand of Sayo from Roselia. You probably can't see it, I will have a separate shot of them open, but right now they're still in their gacha ball thing. The next one is a pin of Razor Sweelin, another popular band from the game. I would have chosen, you know, Pass the Palettes or Poppin' Party or Rosalia, but those weren't an option when they had me choose, so I just picked the next best, which was Razor Sweelin. The last item from the Bushy Road booth is the bag we get for purchasing items. I didn't really purchase anything from the booth. I just asked my friend if I could have the bag because I just had to have this. Bang Jam is just my favorite franchise for Bushy Road. And seeing this, I just had to have the bag. But yeah, it's a nice bag. Glad I have it. The next few items are from the Hoyoverse booth, specifically the Genshin area. They didn't really have much in terms of stuff to buy, so most of the stuff I have were freebies. They were given out mostly at the end of convention. Um, I don't know if they were giving out more stuff during the convention, but if they were, I missed a few of them. First item we have here is the bag. Features Venti, Raiden Shogun, Paimon, Ether, and Lumine, and on the sides, features Zhongli along with the logo Hoyoverse. Cool looking bag, glad to have it. The next item is a postcard, basically with the same design as the bag. In the back it has a blank page with Genshin Impact in the middle top, pretty nice postcard as well. The next few items are posters. They were handing out, there was five posters but unfortunately I only have four. I think I'm missing the Xiao one. So yeah, the first poster is basically the same design as the past few items. The only thing special about this is in the back, it is signed by Atsu or Asian Guy Streams. So that's pretty cool. I also have a picture of him. He's a pretty cool guy. Really happy to meet him. Next poster features the characters Kazuha, Raiden Shogun, Naimiko, Ether, Kokomi, Hayaka, and Paimon. It's a pretty nice poster featuring the Inazuma character. The next one is the summer themed event. It features the skins of Jane and Barbara and also has Klee. It's a really cute poster. I really like it. The last poster I have is the Lantern Right one. It has Ganyu, Xiao, and Shenhe. I really like this one too. If only I had the skin of Kiching, it probably would make this a lot more better. The last item that's related to Genshin isn't really licensed by Genshin, but you could tell it's Genshin related. One of my favorite characters from Genshin Impact is Hu Tao. So I have this Bu Tao plushie. It's a really cute plushie. It has the hat that Hu Tao wears. I'm really glad I got this. Fun fact, this was actually the last plushie they were selling at the booth. I forgot which booth though. I had to buy this. It was really a must have for me. <laughs> Next few items are from my favorite vendor from Exhibit Hall, Omocat. The first item is the bag you get after purchasing some stuff from Omocat and it's really nice. Really simple, clean. I like the pixel art of one of the characters. There's really nothing much to say about this bag other than how simple and clean it is. The next few items are postcards that came along after you bought some stuff from Omocat. They put these cards in your bag. So the first one is an illustration of a boy from Omori. And the next one is also an illustration from Omori. This is their official Omori illustration. Next card we have is Project Iris. Iris is a VTuber in Hololive. They will be releasing merch related stuff. So yeah, something to look forward to. And the last card is Holo Console card. I'm personally pretty excited for this one. The next few items are also freebies after you're buying stuff from Omocat. It's basically just their official logo. So that's pretty cool to have. The next few items are acrylic stands of Hollow Myth, another group from Hollow Live. I bought all five of them because they all look so good. 
and I love the colors. The next item is the Omori game. I've heard pretty good things about this game, but I'm actually pretty nervous to start this. I've heard it's pretty scary, and if you don't have a good mental, you probably shouldn't be playing this game. I'm kind of looking forward to it, at the same time, I'm low-key scared. <laughs> and the last item from Omocat Booth is this wah sweater. It's an extra large, so it's gonna be pretty big on me, but it should be fine. Uh, I don't really mind the huge size difference. I like this sweater. I've always wanted this sweater. It has a really cute design. Design. It says wah in the center there and it has all the drawings on the sleeves. It's really nice, really cute. The last few items are the figures I got from Anime Expo. There's this booth that we're selling them for one for $30 or two for $50. So the first one here is the Hatsune Miku figure Happy Cat version. It has a nice design. I really love the base. The hair is my favorite part of this figure. I'm really glad I have this. The next one is a princess version of Hatsune Miku. It's a really nice figure as well. As you can see, I'm a really big Hatsune Miku fan. So getting these figures are really nice to have. So that was the Hall of Anime Expo. I hope y'all liked the video and I will talk to y'all later.